Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you join me today on a slightly overcast, slightly chilly for May, I would say, sort of day. Um, it's a little bit damp, it's been raining solidly almost for the last couple of days so it's noticeable I arrived up here and everything sprung up and that's not you know just the crops sadly it's the weeds and the grass and sort of other things as well so uh, give me something to get on with once I've finished talking to you but of course I am here to talk about whiskey and what is the allotment dram today I hear you ask well it's a blended malt a scotch blended malt uh, blended malt means that it's uh, a whiskey made up of just single malts but from different places blended together so in this case it's the hive and this is uh, a blended malt which comes from uh, it's produced by a company called uh, Weems Malts and they are a family owned company owned by the Weems family and it was founded in 2005 by William Weems and he's joined by his sister Isabella Weems who is the one that goes out and source, sources the casks from all around Scotland to go into products such as the hive. So yeah, lovely to see, you know, small batch, uh, limited edition, handcrafted whiskies like this sort of on the market. Um, and the hive came out what? We were first became aware of it probably about 10 years ago, I would say. Uh, so uh, there's a small core range and then Weems also do a whole load of uh, sort of other other whiskies as well, including some very nice single casts that we've tried, uh, and some other blended malts and so on. But um, this core range of the Hive, this is the sort of soft, gentle, honeyed one, uh, as they say, made of all Speyside malts. Uh, so only malts from Speyside have gone into the bottle here. Uh, that's joined in the core range by Spice King, which is, you know, a bit warmer, richer, you know, full of these sort of baking spices. Uh, and then the third one is called Peat Chimney, which is the smoky, sort of earthy, you know, again, uh, quite full on one. So almost something for everyone within those three whiskies, this sort of softer, uh, gentler, honey-like whiskey with the hive, the spicy, richer, warmer one with the Spice King. And then the peat chimney is the smoky one. Uh, so what can I tell you about this? Well, it's bottled at 46%. It's non-chill filtered, uh, natural color as well, and made in small batches. Uh, so um, very recently also, it's back in the autumn of 2020, it went through quite a major revamp uh, with the packaging and the bottle as well. I mean, very nice looking bottle there, you know, it's, very very, very uh, sort of yeah, elegant and uh, quite graphic very nicely designed bottle be quite great in a bar fight as well because it's got real heavy weight to it but um, you'll see on the the label got totally redesigned as well so there's some you know sort of indicators of flavors that we might be getting a bit later so there's some honeysuckle there's some orange there's some honey, fairly obviously, as it's called the hive, a bee, a copper pot still, some barley and so on there. And that's uh, replicated on the box. The box is very nice, actually. So you see, very highly designed. They're very nice. It tells you a sort of flavor profile, a bit of history, what's going on with the blends, about the different uh, sort of space side malts and the percentages of things which are made up there so yeah very very impressive uh, redesign that uh, so uh, that's probably enough of that uh, what does it taste like uh, you know you know sit here listening to me wittering on and um, what does it taste like i'm sure you're asking so here we are we're going to open it so just get rid of this uh, plastic look very nice sort of um a stopper on the top there, big thick stopper with the, the Weems uh, crest on there. So here we go. Let's just uh, there we go. We just pop that down for a second. Pop that back on. So let's let's have a smell here. Well, that's 
amazingly fragrant to start with. Let's say 46%, non-chill filtered, natural color. What's about 35, 36 pounds as well, so you know, not too bad in terms of the price. But what's leaping out of the glass here is this sort of honey, unsurprising given the name, but and probably the power of suggestion as well from the name. But um, it is, it's like a heather honey, maybe with a bit of manuka honey in there as well, something a bit deeper. And some fresh honeycomb. But there's also, there's also some vanilla, a bit of golden syrup and brown sugar in there as well. And a bit of that orange that was on the on the label. A bit more like a sort of a candied orange, I would say, something like that. But let's have a taste. Firstly, it's very gentle, very soft. It's a lovely mouthfeel, quite mouth coating actually. It's quite sweet, this sort of brown sugar, honey coming through. There's also some like baked fruits in there as well, like a baked apple or baked pear, something like that. Underneath is quite a robust maltiness like a sort of malty, malted biscuit or oat cake, something like that. You know those little biscuits that you have with cheese, sometimes at whiskey tastings as well. Um, be a very good first impression, a very, very sort of soft, gentle, but quite sweet, quite rich. Let's have another taste. Yeah, this honeyed note is very hard to get out of your head once it's there. It's like dripping, it's like honey literally dripping into the glass. It's yeah, runny honey, heather honey. But then it's sort of a bit later on, it, it's something a bit deeper like manuka honey or that honey, the set honey that has the crystals of sugar in. There's a hint of maybe peach or something like that in the background as well. And then a very late pinch of um, spice as well, like cinnamon, nutmeg, something like that. But all kind of wrapped around this sort of honey and baked fruit note. Touch of vanilla in there as well. Yeah, what a fabulous whiskey. Absolutely wonderfully delicious. And so good if you think 35, 36 pounds for this, you know, small batch, family owned company, non-chill filtered, natural color, 46%. It's ticking a load of boxes for us and it's just, you know, so, so good. You've not tried it, we tried it maybe seven or eight years ago, the old version. But, uh, you know, this is lovely, as I say, just layers and layers of, of honey and fruit. And then this robust maltiness underneath. Yeah, absolutely delicious. What a cracker. Um, delighted to have uh, got our bottle of this. Um, yeah, very, very nice. So, yeah, I think uh, that's really about it. Um, you know, from myself and the hive from Weems Malts, blended malt, we will bid you farewell. I'll get on with a few more jobs now, mostly weeding by the looks of it. But uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.